Tonight, as we get ready for Halloween, we take a look into the mystery of Omaha's past when it comes to magic. He's a man who inspired magicians from the great Harry Houdini to Penn and Teller. In this special report, Lindsay Thies introduces us to David Abbott, Beyond the Grave. All right, so here it is. So it's called the cup and ball trick, all right? So Magician Joe Cole loves performing. It's the entertainment behind the tricks and illusions. And say, ta-da! Ta that he says makes a magician. But little do most modern magicians know, a hidden secret of Omaha, a man of mystery. The key to some of the tricks they perform today lies here in an unassuming house on Center Street. David Abbott was born in 1863 in Falls City, Nebraska, but he spent most of his life in Omaha and built this house in 1914. And it was here where the magic happened, literally. In the early 1900s, David Abbott welcomed touring magicians like Harry Houdini into his home. We sat down with author, collector, and expert on Abbott and Omaha magician himself, Walter Graham. Fitting, we're getting this story at Graham's house. He only did shows in his home, and he would invite people to come. And uh, it, it ended up that he was a perfectionist. That perfection led to Abbott's illustrious personal parlor shows where he created tricks like the linking rings, the floating ball, and his talking tea kettle. He would have somebody write a question on a piece of paper and put it in the kettle and then they'd hold the spigot up to their ear and they would hear a voice and answer the question. Throughout the years, Abbott documented his illusions with the intent of publishing a book that would mysteriously disappear. He was able to publish several articles in scientific journals at the time, debunking mediums who set out to make money from families hoping to speak with loved ones who had passed. Among his most famous takedowns, two women known as the Notorious Bang Sisters. The sisters held seances and painted pictures of the dead. One of their seances sent a very rich man to an insane asylum. As for David Abbott, he died in 1934 and is buried at Westlawn Hillcrest Memorial Park. Before he passed, he told his wife he'd return. And in 1977, his spirit did return, you might say, and landed in Graham's lap. Graham returned to the house on Center Street, where the owners had found boxes of manuscripts, pictures, and films from that book Abbott intended to write. The original floating ball, the talking tea kettle, it was all there. Graham published Abbott's book, and since then, he sold that memorabilia to another well-known magician who made trips to Omaha and published about Abbott's alchemy. Whether the spirit of the seance striker David Abbott is still in Omaha, it's hard to say. Beyond the magicians who visit Abbott's grave, there's few who know about this magic man from the past. But one thing's for sure. If it wasn't for Omaha's hidden secret, David Abbott, magic might not be here today. Lindsay Thies reporting. We have more pictures of David Abbott, plus some of his secrets to his tricks with this story on our website, KMTV.com. Now, your weather alert forecast.